everybody today I wanted to share what I've been doing as a homemaker a mother a wife to have a little self-care um, I've been working on this for the past couple months now and I just think it's really important to take care of ourselves because when we don't take care of ourselves we can't take care of our families and pour out into them as well and take care of our homes and so I'm gonna touch on three areas my spiritual, physical, and mental well-being. So I'm hoping this will encourage you to take care of yourself so you can take care of your life. So I'm gonna start with the physical because I feel like this is an area that self-care is a big part of. Some things I've been doing lately is stretching and exercising, being pregnant and in my mid to almost end of second trimester, I've really been trying to work on that keeping my flexibility up, also staying somewhat in shape with it being super cold in the middle of winter here in South Dakota. It's really hard to get outside and go for walks and things such as that. So I've just been trying to maybe walk up and down the stairs, our flights of steps, oh, for like five minutes or so. Um, also like cleaning the house is some physical exercise. So I make sure I do some of that daily. Um, even just like squats daily and I'm um, just really working on a little bit of physical fitness and when it's nice out it's so much easier to just go outside get my daughter in her stroller and push her just to have that physical um, strength to just conquer the day um, the next would be relaxation. So I've really been trying to work on this as well. This is something my husband has been encouraging me with, which is wonderful because I'm one that I just like to go, 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 go until I'm dead tired and sit down and um, still work <laughs> if need be. But I've been trying to take care of my body in that way. So I'll put my feet up, um, especially because I do get swelling in my legs with being pregnant. I'll warm up my rice hot pack and put that on some of my sore muscles. I've been working on trying to take baths again. I don't, I'm not a huge bath fan. I don't know why. This is just something I don't really do too often. But, um, taking baths to help relax, using essential oils like lavender to calm. Um, I do like to put essential oils on tired muscles, stuff like that, just to help with relaxation and really working on breathing. And this is something you don't even have to do if you're pregnant, but in like a stressful situation, just taking time to breathe, focus on that, um, really helps your body relax. And that's something I've been working on just also for labor in general. Um, okay, another area um, is sleep. So sleep is something that is so important for us to have that just um, REM sleep, good solid REM sleep. And I try to get eight hours a night. It doesn't always happen, but I know when baby comes, I'm gonna get less than that. And so right now I'm just really focusing on going to bed by 10, 15 or so, and then get up at 6.30, you know, like just make sure I try to get a good solid amount of sleep so that my body can recover and rebuild its cells and everything it does during that um, sleeping cycle. Another area for physical that I try to do is hydrate and eat healthy. So our bodies, um, I'm a Christian, so I believe it is a temple of the Lord's. And so we want to take care of it in this way as well. I don't want to just go eat pizza and ice cream and cookies. I really try to nourish my body with a well-balanced meal, um, keep hydrated with a lot of fluids and water, especially when you're pregnant too. That's just so important. And even when you're not, um, just to remember that we need to take care of our bodies in many ways, not just physical exercise, also with what is taken in for nourishment. And so that's just something I, I've i been really working on um, more than the last two months. That's been like years in the making. Yes, I love some sweets every once in a while, but I just try to nourish my body in that way so I have more energy. Um, also, skincare is one for me that I've been doing. Um, I do a lot of more natural skincare and I don't always wear makeup during the day to let my skin breathe, but I do a homemade moisturizer with coconut oil and frankincense, and I really feel like that's helped my skin 
feel more nourished and replenished because I struggled with dry skin a lot. And so that seems to help replenish my dry skin, especially in these winter months in the Midwest. And then every once in a while, I'll do a DIY face mask with like yogurt, honey, and oatmeal, and lemon, um, and just, you look silly, but I think that's important to just kind of, you know, get the toxins out of our skin as well and just take care of that physically for our um, looks. And then I've been doing a stretch mark cream. This is obviously pregnancy related, but I do a DIY stretch mark cream that I just, I put on every night after I take a shower or bath. And I just, I think it worked with the last pregnancy. I barely got any stretch marks. And so I've just been trying to do that just to take care of my body in that way. Not that those areas anyone's gonna see, but my husband or myself, but I just think it's important for me to feel good about that. And then appearance is another one physically. I like to get ready in the morning and feel good about how I look. I am not one. I have decided to um, not just wear leggings and sweats and stuff like that around the house. If you are and you feel comfortable with it, go for it. But I like to put on jeans or leggings and a dress or leggings and a skirt, something like that, um, just to make myself feel better about how I am. If someone stopped by, I don't wanna just look like I rolled out of bed, but I wanna be presentable. And if I have to run an errand and I feel good about what I look like, you have to be comfortable in your own appearance. And so that's something I've really been working on with self-care. And I really, I think even since high school, I barely ever wore sweatpants to school. College, I think there was one day when I was super sick and went to class in sweatpants. And even my husband said he'd never seen me wear sweatpants until that one day. And that's just something I value and find important. So um, that's kind of the physical side. So mentally, I think we need brain breaks. Um, this could be something like reading a fiction book or um, to me, baking is a mental break. If you're not good at it, maybe don't try it because you might get stressed. But um, then gardening, just something relaxing for your mind that doesn't take a lot of um, brain power to do or if you like to do word searches, you know, like something that just kind of relaxes you, takes you out of your normal routine of life crafting. I have a friend who's an awesome crafter and she just loves it and finds joy in that. Um, there's another thing mentally as a mom, but I think it's important to have that break from our kids. Ask grandparents if they're around, if they can take your kids for a couple hours once a week, or a friend if they're willing to watch your kids. I struggled with doing that because I feel like I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm supposed to have my kids with me all the time. Try to take time for your mental health as well without having kids. Um, also, for me, another thing is having less stuff that mentally sometimes stresses me out to just see a lot of clutter a lot of junk in my house and so i like to live simply i'm not a minimalist not at all but i like to have a simple decor simple wardrobe um just to really help my mental state all right and then spiritually is probably my biggest area i really try to take care of myself i do bible readings um, I have a friend who we do Bible study with every other week. We call in the evenings and just discuss what we've been reading. Um, prayer time is important. Prayer journaling I do sometimes. Um, I also think fellowship with friends and that's where that phone call every other week with this friend is incredible. It just lifts me up every time after we have our conversations about what we've been reading in our Bibles. Um, and also fellowship with other believers. I know it was super hard during COVID for us to gather as church body, um, but there's just something when you don't go to a fellowship of a body of believers where two or more are gathered, the scripture says you are you know, worshiping in his name. And so I think that has been just something I really desire and need and love having. And I think that's so important or listening to worship music if you like to do that type of stuff and so those are the three areas i have really been focusing on for self-care um and just trying to take care of my body so i can care for and pour out to my daughter and my husband and all the people i interact with 
So I hope that encourages you to remember to take care of yourself too because you are important. You are valued. You have so much potential in you. And I just hope that you can remember that and um, hopefully use these tips to help take care of yourself. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in my next one.